uh, good morning and welcome to my channel. Um, in just over two months time I'm returning to the UK to continue my walk from Land's End to John O'Groats. This will be the third and hopefully the last section um, from Carlisle to John O'Groats. And I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of the kit that I will be taking for the trip. Um, I will be uh, using a mixture of um, camping and B&Bs along the way. Um, so I've got um, my camping gear here. Um, I'll start with that. This is um, this is my tent, which is um, very small, as you can see. The pack size is very small. It's also very lightweight. weighs about 620 grams. And there's seven pegs that I use um, to put it up with. It, it's a trekking pole tent. Um, and it goes up really quick and really easily. Um, hasn't got a fantastic amount of space inside, but it's a really good tent. I really like it. I love the fact that it's really simple and you can pack it away really small and easily into your rucksack. Um, this is my... Um, Four Clares 700 air structure sleep mat. Um, this is a decathlon product, and there's, uh, if you're interested in this, there's a video on my channel where I talk more in depth about it. Um, it's really comfortable, um, although it's not rated much below about 80 degrees centigrade, so um, you might want to. Uh, take a bit more insulation with you either in the form of clothing or something to put underneath it if it's going to be really cold. Um, my rucksack is uh, a recent purchase Bergel's Fast Hike uh, 45 litre uh, very lightweight plenty of room um, loads of pockets uh, a really good purchase as far as I'm concerned um, out of the big items, the last one is my sleeping bag. This is uh, a force, synthetic Force 10 Nano minus 5. Um, that name is a little bit misleading because it gives the impression that the comfort level is minus 5. Well, actually, that's the limit. The comfort level is plus 1. Um, uh, if it's really really frosty you sometimes can feel a bit chilly so you need to put on extra clothing but generally speaking it's a really good bag and keeps you warm in most um, moderate conditions. Moving on to clothing um, I don't take a lot of clothing to be honest I tend to take a spare of each item most items uh, and this video is just including what will be going in the bag. It won't include anything that I'm wearing or carrying at the time. This is just purely what is going in the rucksack. Um, these are underpants. Um, they're quite good. Um, these underpants, they came actually from Primark. I've got a few pairs of them, really good. Um, head net for midges and mozzies. Um, Socks, spare pair of socks. I'll be wearing a pair of these, and this is my spare pair. Um, these come from Decathlon as well. Um, as I walk in non waterproof trail shoes, um, I take seal skins with me just as insurance. And sometimes, if my feet are cold at night, I sometimes put them on um, just to keep me a bit warmer. I've got two shirts, one I'll be wearing. Um, so I'll put both of them in because I don't know which I'll be wearing and which will be going in the bag. They're both from Decathlon, they're both merino wool. This is a short sleeve and this is a long sleeve zip top. Both really good, really warm and comfortable. Um, this is a, a beanie hat for extra uh, uh, warmth. Um, I'm only taking uh, one pair of trousers. Um, I hate walking in long trousers, um, so these are just the legs off of my convertible D 
decathlon walking trousers. So I'll be wearing the shorts and they're the legs to be going in the bag for um, if I want to use them uh, either in really cold weather or if I want to go to the pub in them in the evening or whatever. Um, waterproof trousers. These are Berghaus Gore-Tex waterproof trousers I've had for a number of years. Rarely wear them but sometimes when it's really cold and windy uh, it's necessary. Um, this is my um, decathlon down jacket. Um, fantastic jacket. I wear it quite a lot. I had to wear it on the last section while I was walking quite regularly because it was so cold in uh, South Wales and up the Offers Dyke path so I was wearing that a lot and wearing it um, to sleep in at times as well because it was really cold. Over there is um, Carrymore uh, dry bag to put the clothes in. Right down at here now um, I've got my Petzl head torch there which I use quite a lot. This is my Sawyer mini filter and syringe for cleaning this so I can uh, just take water from anywhere and uh, purify it. Here is my silver compass, um, spork, a couple of lighters and a pocket rocket. That's really good. Works a treat, weighs nothing so yeah really handy. Um, that's a little tripod I use my camera. I can set it up if I want to uh, get in the shot. Or these bendy legs mean you can curl it round um, your trekking pole and use it as a selfie selfie pole. It's quite useful. Uh, the tripod is for my Sony Cybershot HX80 camera, which I really love. It's a great camera. But obviously, I'm using it to take this uh, video with. Very lightweight as well. Um, here is my tick remover, nail clippers and plasters and other bits and pieces in there. Um, this is my um, toothbrush. It's really handy. Folds away in that into itself. Um, this, I take uh, a large piece of this is um, microfiber material I use for a towel. Um, my RAV Power um, um, battery pack. Samsung phone which is loaded with um, View Ranger and OS maps for the entire uh, UK. There's my backup Garmin GPS unit. Uh, this is loaded with my entire route, so should that fail in any way whatsoever, I've still got that, and that runs off of ordinary AA batteries. And there is a collection of um, cables, chargers, etc. Now, there's a couple of things missing from here. For a couple of items um, I've yet to purchase. Uh, I've waiting for a titanium pot which would double up as a cooking pot and something to drink out of as well and the other thing that's missing is my waterproof jacket which I've left around a friend's house so <laughs> I've got to pick that up before the walk and the other thing is uh, a collapsible water bottle to attach to the uh, Sawyer filter so I can filter water out. But that's about it and I think this weighs um, around about the 7 kilo mark. So I'm going to pack it all into the uh, rucksack there and weigh it and see what I come out with. There we are, all packed and on the scales and it's 6.2 kilos. And I've got to add on 630 grams to that because uh, of the missing items and the camera that I'm using to film this so 630 so it's 6 kilos 830 grams so just under 7 kilos okay well that's what I'm more or less all I'm taking on the trip 
obviously there's no consumables in in the uh, bag at the moment um, I intend carrying only half a litre of water um, and as little food as possible um, obviously that will depend on where I am and what resupply points there are but um, I generally tend to carry a couple of days food unless I know for a fact that I can get um, either a pub or a cafe during the day or if I'm going on a longer stretch then obviously I'll have to fill up with more food but um, yeah that's about it if you found any use in this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you again soon thanks a lot